Remember to subscribe and enable notifications so you can get all my content and keep up with news about the upcoming Dragon Ball Daima anime and whatever else coming down the pipeline, including the Dragon Ball Super manga. But if you happen to miss a video, head on over to the playlist portion right here on your screen. And right here, it'll say Dragon Ball Daima Web Anime News. That is the playlist with all of the news videos covering the upcoming 2024 40th anniversary web slash streaming anime dragon ball daima so again playlists it's right there yo keep up to date with all the news here on geekdom 101 welcome to my trailer breakdown of the second dragon ball daima trailer that was revealed during the dragon ball battle hour the video game themed event by akio ioku we're gonna go into this uh trailer and even though i don't know everything i'm gonna tell you sort of what i think is gonna happen what i've heard is gonna happen and what's actually going on in this trailer this trailer felt like it was more of a uh it felt like it was more of a showcase of the animation like i've said before dragon ball daima has a phenomenal animation team it's gonna look like dragon ball super broly except every episode meaning the quality just the perfect artistic quality of this show is gonna blow away dragon ball super so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do a frame by frame breakdown of this daima trailer and we're gonna go through everything here today if you're new here welcome to geekdom 101 we talk about dragon ball anime manga movies and sometimes video games. So today, we're doing this trailer breakdown. Let's go ahead and check out the second trailer for Dragon Ball Daimo. And I'm gonna be pausing as we go through and breaking it down. So this shot right here, all these shots in the background are from the first trailer. They're just kind of reminding us of that. Also, take note about the music. As of the recording of this video, I do not know who the composer is gonna be for Dragon Ball Daima, who's doing the music. I have no idea, but Tell me if I'm wrong, does this not sound like a mix between RPG music and Star Wars? Like, it sounds so John Williams-ish, and I like it. It's a different feel for Dragon Ball, and they mentioned on the panel, and I've talked about this before, that Dragon Ball Daima is going to feel more like a Japanese role-playing game. It'll feel more like Dragon Quest than Super. It's something different, and I'm excited because I love Dragon Quest, as many of you know. Let's keep going. <laughs> This shot right here of this, this craft leaving Earth. I was told that the story's going to be about Goku and Supreme Kai traveling through different realms. That's what I was told. Now, the word realms was used. I'm not sure if that actually means other planets or other dimensions within Universe 7. But I do want you to take note of that beautiful shot of the planet Earth, dude. That is so well detailed it just looks great uh, i look forward to finding out more about these vehicles because toriyama loves to draw his vehicles but goku and kaioshin are adventuring to try to find a way to reverse the curse that made them all kids again i went over this in a video called dragon ball daima episode one spoilers which i will leave a link to and the cards in the upper right and at the end of this video let's keep going <music> This is said to be one of the planets or one of the realms they're going to be going to. Uh, notice it reminds me a lot of that uh, planet from episode 2 of Super that Whis and Beerus were on. Kind of has that vibe, right? Love the camera work. Now, these creatures right here, I do not know their origin. I know that they are likely... Uh, inhabitants of this realm uh they, they kind of were a throwback to classic dragon ball how it used to have anthropomorphic characters or as some would call them furries so this is just part of the adventure now i mentioned star wars and jrpg diamond is going to have a lot of that a lot of exploring new planets and locations different civilizations that's a big thing about dragon ball daima is world building that'll be a big focus of this show <laughs> No, there we have another this character right here you can't even tell me this will remind you of something like like for example uh drum the character that demon king piccolo actually no was it drum i think it was drum yeah from dragon ball the character that demon king piccolo you know hatched kind of gives me that vibe <laughs> goku here of course his stomach controls him trying to have a meal isn't anime food awesome so this scene right here 
reminds me of Moss Eisley in the original Star Wars movie where Luke and Obi-Wan Kenobi go to that bar. This kind of gives me that vibe, like he's in what looks to be a restaurant and there's trouble. This is one shot from one ep- like all of this is from just a couple of episodes from what I was told. None of this is what happens later in the series, but here's a look at some of the action, some of the combat behind Daima. It really does remind me of Dragon Quest Dime. See that I love that right there, yo. That's that's look at that shot right there, bro. Like you can't deny, even if you're not hyped for the premise of this show, it's gonna look fantastic. And I've talked before about how good the fights are probably gonna be. Goku with a, a burger or something mouth, bam. Goku is defending himself against this alien with symbols, like the symbols you used on a drum on a drum kit. That's what it looks like here. Or maybe plates, plates as well. But see that that right there, that's a symbol spot from the original Turtles movie. But they could also be plates, but I think they're symbols. Goku's still holding on to that burger. See, this is like more based on fun than anything. See that character on the right there? I think he may have been knocked out by Goku right before this shot. Now, once again, this is more of that alien world building food. This was brought up in the panel, just sort of more creativity of different places Goku is gonna go. More of Goku eating. There was a lot of Goku eating in this trailer. I was kind of hoping for more story, but they're obviously keeping a lot of that secret, and I wish they weren't, but if they are. I mean, they're keeping a lot of the story secret. I already told you guys what I know. It's not much. You know, there's not much else that I haven't said about it because I don't know much else. Goku and Supreme Kai get cursed. Well, all the main characters are cursed to be young again. And that ends up leading to the adventure that Goku's going to go on. So... <laughs> Uh, that pixelated a little bit here, but one, I mentioned this before as well. These characters um, are henchmen for a bigger foe. Um, I do not have names yet, but they were revealed during the Dragon Ball Daima panel. And uh, I think like this sequence right here we're about to watch is freaking awesome. Let's take a look real quick. See, Goku with that damn Neoibo with the power pole, man, taking it back to the roots of the series. To Sun Wukong. Let me go back a little bit more here. Like, he's just taking on all of them, bro. I'm not sure where this episode takes place. It's like, I'm not sure if this is like the first episode or the second. I'm probably within the first five or six, but... Seeing Goku using weapons instead of just his fist is something different, something I'm excited to see because it's been a while since we've seen that. And don't forget that while Daima is going on, Dragon Ball Super's manga is still continuing. So we're going to have two different stories to, to uh, follow when it comes to Dragon Ball. I have something about Gohan I want to talk about here in just a moment. That sequence right there looks amazing, bro. Look at that. That sequence right there looks phenomenal. Let's rewind that. Wait, no, I went. I didn't go far enough. Hold on. Great, beautiful looking series, man. At least we have that, right? Yeah, the I want to know if that's actually the music. Hold on, y'all. I still didn't get to show you what I wanted to show you. But it feels like every single shot, every single piece of animation, every single cut has so much detail and love put into it, man. Look at this. This is all being done to celebrate Dragon Ball's 40-year anniversary. This is not GT 2.0. It's just done to celebrate the anniversary because Goku was a kid when the series started. They're going back to that. This is the shot right here. That shot with the pink background, freaking awesome, yo. I Again, guys, I do wish that we had more information come out. There isn't much there yet, but we definitely know that the fights are going to be dope. They're going to be different. Goku facing multiple opponents. Um, no transformations thus far. I know some of you have asked about transformations in the series, and I was told a while ago not to expect anything like that early on, so maybe they're holding off on that for later. Or maybe Goku can't transform anymore. Maybe that's part of the curse. So we'll find all of this out in the future. 
Anyways, Dragon Ball Daima coming out later this year. Uh, I just hope it's good, man. I want to real quick go over this shot right here. He's about to get eaten by what looks like a giant fish, but yes, 2024 fall, bro. Yuko Kain Ka Kakihara is, the, is the, the, the main writer for the series, the lead writer, even though the story is Toriyama's. He's the one adapting it for anime. And Aya Komaki and Yoshitaka Yashima are the director. And of course, Nakatsuru is the man behind the look. So happy he's back. So happy he's back doing Dragon Ball. Anyways, y'all, take care of yourself. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.